guys, this is D DCOM Lemon from the Altus Police Department. Today I will show you uh, my top 5 how to become a better police. Alright guys, at number 5 we have community engagement, which I will show you some examples of. Hello good sir. Oh, that's rude. Hello, sir. Hello, uh, uh, the DVLA. The DVLA. DVLA. Okay. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Hello, sir. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir. Hello. Hello. All right. That was some examples of. How you properly do that community engagement on a number four we have pulling people over what you need to do what you need to be aware of and here's an example of that all right I'll come in here with some live feedback what I'm doing here is I'm putting on my blue lights and I'm horning three times at him to let the car know he needs to pull over for me as you can see what the car does now is pull over and then what you need to be aware of is the guy inside the car oh, sorry, please step out the vehicle alright thank you very much if you just come behind the vehicle here between the two cars here so you don't stand in the middle of the road alright I'll pause yeah. this right here so what's happened is I've gotten him between the two cars so I've got in full control of him now what you need to do is you need to come up with some fucking bullshit as to thank why you, you pulled much. him over alright do you know why I pulled you over today All right. Well, it says here on your uh, on your windshield mirror, I just got married. So uh, I just wanted to congratulate you on that and uh, and uh, ask if you had a driver's license uh, that I can see. You know. I do. There we go. All right. It says here your name is Dance. So I'll just write the here on a, a happy birthday card. Sorry, didn't have any happy wedding cards. Uh, just married congratulations uh, here is uh, this and that uh, however so we do have one issue uh, my colleague tells me that the car you're driving in uh, is illegal uh, therefore you will be fined uh, 500,000 pounds and go to prison <laughs> <Got he. laughs> okay. nah man I'm just kidding what I'm gonna do here is a congratulations gift So what you want to do here is just give them money because that, that bitches love money. Back and you have a good day, all right? All right, cheers, mate. See you later. Have fun. Ye all right. At a number three, we have dealing with armed people. This is an example of how you deal with an armed person that you find in, for example, Kabbalah. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, sir, could you please host your fi firearm, sir? Please. You hold, you hold to your firearm. Sir? Hey, sir. Sir, please, please hold to your firearm. Sir? Hold, please, please hold to your firearm. Please hold to your firearm. Two thousand years later. <laughs> Sir! Stop! Ru running! Are you. Stop running! Will you taste? Sir! So, as you can see here, after you've initiated with the taser, what you want to do is uh, aim at him and hit him with the taser. Um, this is a perfect example Stop of how you running. do that. Oh, fuck me, man! He's fucking hacking this one. Alright. Number two, how to act in hostage situations. Alright, in this, if you find yourself in a hostage situation, it's very important to press your panic button at shift five and give as much information nice as possible. Oh, 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 oh. 
my 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 hands are And here it's very important head. to hot mic this to every single channel on TeamSpeak because if they don't hear it you might get kidnapped and die. Uh please do not shoot. You only got one chance in this life. Uh it's uh, it's all right. Uh do not uh, be be careful uh the, the you with your uh, pistol uh, so you don't get hurt. Uh, with that uh, rook in your press vest and blue shirt. When the cavalry ar arrives, obviously they don't know what the fuck to do, so you need to instruct them in what to do because they don't have as good training as you do because you've seen this video. What do we do now? I don't know. Oh my. This is all happening inside the PD. Get the Shrek, kid. As soon as your colleagues have left the scene, you need to take off his weapon so he can't use them against you. Preferably if he has a rook, you can always put that in the backpack if you need that for another time. And on a number one, we have go out and role play. I cannot teach you how to role play, even though with my great video making skills, what you need to do is go out and learn by doing. Alright guys, this is Decom Lemon. This is all I had for you this time. Stay tuned, press that subscribe button for more content, and I'll see you later. Ha! You think you got me this time? Think again. Bye, Boomer.